Okay, last episode of Season 3. Jake wants a main event match. Well, we're going to give them that then. Tag team match. It's going to be Jake and Joel Wheeler. And they are going to be putting the championships on the line against... Well, they're heels, so we should probably do, do it against faces, shouldn't we? So we're going to put up against Bruno Sammartino and Eddie Guerrero. And you know what? I'm going to play a fixed match card to make it so that they win that because we're putting it into our Hall of Famer feud. I'm going to buy the health spa. I'm going to buy the beginner's luck. I'm going to buy the pre-match physio. Not that I'm going to need that. I'm going to buy the health spa and we're going to put that on who's hurting the most. K is hurting the most. We're going to then do... Oh, I don't have any of that so that's fine right there we go removed by one week injury rehab removed by two weeks so it's now down to two we've got beginner's luck pretty ruthless raise that up okay right so here's what we're going to do we currently have six feuds Active Gunther versus Santos Escobar, which is which I got off of one of the other brands, which is a level four. So Bray Wyatt is popularity 98, however, he's injured for two weeks. So if I want somebody to go up against him, I'm gonna need to have somebody call him out. So we need a male heel. Now Josh Briggs is busy for two weeks. Um, because he wanted personal time off. So, I have a lot of people here and all of them are active. So, MVP is going to be in the tag feud. Damien Priest. We did just finish the Jake Bray feud, didn't we? So, what are we going to do here? Right, so I tell you what, we are going to crown a new women's champion, and it's going to be between Bailey, Quinn B, and Piper Niven. And China. So, if China or Bailey wins it, that's going to be the women's feud. If Quinn B or Piper Niven wins it, it's going to be uh, them. So let's make it an Extreme Rules match, which could be. Ch uh, I don't really want to give China the advantage. Let's make it. No, you know what? We're doing Extreme Rules. That's what we're doing. And we are going to do... Next week we'll do Santos and Gunter. I mean, we could... Let's have Gunter do a self promo. We'll have Escobar do a self promo. And we're going to have. What's Damien Priest's stamina? Okay, we can have Damien Priest and uh, Champa go into it. Who's my North American champion? I can't remember. Wait, didn't I get rid of him? I can't remember now. <laughs> I literally can't remember. Oh, Joe Wheeler. No, it wasn't Joe Wheeler. Who was it? I've completely lost my memory. But he got... Oh, yeah. He got injured, didn't he? I remember. So I got rid of him. Um, okay. So in which case, then, what we're going to do is we're going to transplant Damien Priest and... Tomasa Champa. And we'll put uh, 
Oh, Joe Wheeler's in that as well, isn't he? Um, that's annoying. Okay, we'll make it a triple threat then. It's going to be Gargano, uh, not Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Damien Priest and R. Trizzle. And we'll make it a title match for the Men's North American Championship. And we will leave it at that. Have at least one Tornado Tag match this week for an Injury Rehab 3. Uh, right, okay. Let's do that. That gives me the Injury, injury Rehab for Bray Wyatt. Then, what we're going to do is... Andre Cannons of Cinema Garrett at level 4? Didn't I have Cinnamon Garrett? How is she in a level... I'm, I'm confused. How is she in a level 4 feud with somebody I don't have? Okay. In which case, then... Let's see if we can get a legendary person to fight Bray. Now, Bray's a face, so we want a heel immortal. George Animal Steel. Bray's a bruiser. That doesn't help. That really doesn't help. Oh, that's really annoying. Right, okay. We need a women's match here. Let's do... Uh, so we've got EO Sky with Ignition. I don't have her either. Okay, Charlotte Flair then. We're going to have you go up against... Oh, I've still got Tiffy Strat, haven't I? Okay, let's have Tiffy Strap versus Alina Vega. Let's make that a tables match. And this leaves us one more promo slot, which I'm going to do for a women's tag team call out. And we'll have Charlotte Flair team with. I was going to have China versus Alexa Bliss, wasn't I? I could put Alexa Bliss in there instead of Bailey and put Bailey in the tag team. I think that's what I'm going to do, you know? So we're going to have Bailey and Charlotte going up against. Becky and Josie Jane for a call out primary. That's what we're going to do. Right. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm actually, is anyone at risk being injured? They are, but it eh, doesn't matter if Jake or Joel gets injured at this point. Okay, that's the show. Simulate SmackDown. We'll simulate Raw. Okay, here we go. NXT. New Women's Champion is going to be... China. Okay, so China is going to not... Yeah, China and Bliss. That was... And that's brilliant because that actually started the rivalries I actually wanted. So that's fantastic. So China is now in a rivalry... For the women's championship with Alexa Bliss. I was writing this down. There we go. That is a level one rivalry. Now, also, Quinn B 
and Piper Niven are in a rivalry as well. So I can write that down. Quinn V versus Piper Niven. Level one. Fantastic. That is a great start to the show. Okay, that's a good promo by Gunter. Now, who's going to be our North American champion? It's Damien Priest. It goes to a level three. So that makes that then for the North American championship. self so by Santos Escobar gets three. That's good. Mid-card tables match. Tiffany Stratton and Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega gets the victory. And that grows to a level two rivalry. Tag team call-out. Okay, there's our tag team women's feud. So, what could we call Bailey Flair? The wacky, wavering, inflatable, arm flailing women. Two women. <laughs> um, okay, so it's the last kickers. Versus... Charlotte and Bailey, what would be a good tag team name? I can't just call them the horse women, can I? Uh, I can't think of a tag team name for them. Oh, we'll just call them Bailey and Flair until I think of a name. And the main event is going to be a Tornado Tag Match where Bruno Sammartino and Eddie Guerrero gain custody of the NXT Tag Team Championships in a four-star match. Which means that that's going to bring, make that the uh, men's tag team feud as well. Between the MVGs and Abrugian Heat. NXT 2.0 so poor with money because of the trade that William Regal did. Four normal matches. Uh, yeah, look, he did an advertising promo with Trish Stratus, who I believe was at zero stamina, which is funny. Let me just see if she's actually still at zero stamina. Oh, she's at six now. 17 grand?! If I put you on a freaking advertising promo, I wouldn't get 17 grand. Honestly, what's all that? <laughs> right. Anyway, skip the rest of the show. So, the normal match exceeded the fatal four-way extreme rules match for the women's title where china won okay sure game ha, nxt bought gunther and escobar from smackdown well, this is going to be interesting to see how much money nxt 2.0 now has because they had nothing Well, 
Well, they've gained money now, at least. Injury Rehab 3. Right, we can put that on Bray Wyatt. Oh, I've got two as well. Right. Double costs. Brands might... Oh, that's not going to hurt. Sorry, China, you're the women's champion. That's not happening. That is completely fine, Joel, because I have no use for you now. Right. Do not book your most popular specialist this week for a network special. Okay. Who is my most, popu most popular specialist? Tiffany Stratton. Okay, I can have I can have uh, Zelina Vega call her out. That's fine. We can do that. Right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is China did start a feud with Alexa Bliss, so we're gonna put that in a title match in the main event. Right, so then what I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the power cards. Right, I'm gonna pick those up, yoink, because I've got the money. Timing doesn't matter at this point. Right, bad timing. No Royal Brands have contracts that can be reduced. Well, that's annoying. Superstars morale, right. Who are we gonna raise? Let's raise China's, since she is the women's champion. There we go, she's super happy now, good. I didn't even need to, I didn't even need to give her cocaine to make her happy either. Right. We'll give a health spa to Bray Wyatt. Right, talent scouts. Let's see if we can find somebody for him to go up against. Male heal search. Wade Barrett! Wade Barrett versus Bray Wyatt. It writes itself. Husky Harrison, the leader of the core. It writes itself. Wade Barrett, welcome aboard, my friend. Wade Barrett is a heel fighter bruiser. Which means he is absolutely perfect to go up against Bray Wyatt's. Who is a face bruiser. Right. We're going to do a call out. Wade Barrett. On, where is he? Wade Barrett, where are you? Wade Barrett, Barrett Barrage, where are you? There you are. Wade Barrett, you're going to call out Bray Wyatt. Okay. Then we're going to have... Right, what's... Okay. What's Becky Lynch's stamina at? 46. Okay, we're going to need a tag team call out there, aren't we? Right, do I have any promises that I need to keep? That, that... Until week 15, not tag. I think that's supposed to be until week 25. Yeah, that's a bug. Okay. Okay, so let's arrange my stamina. Okay, Andre the Giant. Okay. Let's put that together. Andre the Giant, where are you? There you are. 
Ah, that's balls. Okay, we'll wait for that. We'll, we'll wait for Bruno Sammartino to get better. Um, okay, let's arrange my stamina again. Um, Angio Cannons is in a feud with Cinnamon Garrett, who I don't own. And Ignition is in a feud with EO Sky for some reason. <sighs> right. Quinn B and Pipe and Ibn can open up. They're pretty popular. We'll have. Damien and Tommaso can go. Actually, they've got a rivalry, so that's going to be better than that one, isn't it? So, let's put that there. And then we need another men's match here. Let's just put Gunther and Santos Escobar together. Just, it's stale, so it needs to be done off. Okay, steel, fucking hell, 90k. Well, that's what we're going to have to do then, isn't it? Bin off that. Right. Because it's stale. I bought a stale feud apparently. Wish it would have been nice to tell me it was stale before I got it, but never mind, Steel Cage it is to finish the rivalry off. Okay. So we're starting with Women's Championship match China versus Alexa Bliss in a normal match. China retains. Four star match, rivalry grows to two. Selena Vega calls out Tiffany Stratton, goes to level three. Damien Priest, Tommaso Ciampa going at it. Damien Priest gets the victory. Three and a half stars, Dunning Peter Ivory. Wade Barrett, Wade Barriott, Wade Barriott, who is Wade Barriott? Wade Barrett calls out. Uh, Bray Wyatt. So I'm just going to write this down. Bray Wyatt versus Wade Barrett. And that's for the men's championship. And that is a level one rivalry. Quinn B and Piper Niven go at in it and going at it in a normal match. Piper Niven gets the victory. Gross level two, three and a half stars. Thank you, ladies. Women's tag grows to level two feud. Thank you, ladies. The main event: Steel Cage, Santos Escobar, and Gunter. Santos Escobar gets the victory. Four and a half stars. Rivalry complete. Thank you, gentlemen. Did get our network special. Cannot be used in a PLE week. Oh, we've hit six million fans now. That is completely fine, Alexa. Right. Piping even got a new perk. Bruiser class or fighter class? She's a giant. Do I have many giant fighters? 
Charlotte Flair is the only giant fighter I have. China is a giant bruiser. Um, to be honest, I think Piper Niven's probably more of a giant bruiser. So let's make her that. There we go. Did anyone else get a perk? Nope, that's it. Right, okay. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a double promo. Bray's going to call out him and he's going to respond later in the show. And then we're going to have Damien Priest calling out Tommaso Ciampa to hopefully get that up to a level 4. Right. Right. Right, we'll rest the, ta the men's tag team. Yeah, we'll, we'll rest them so they can have a match going into the pay going like the the, the run in for the pay-per-view but we're going to bring in the women now and you guys are going to have a match and we're going to make a normal tables match i think no i don't want to quit not fulfilled nova northern light fights this week against whom she's not in a rivalry Right, let's get her in, get her in one then, I guess. Um, two specialists, two fighters. Right, that's what we're going to do then. Fatal four-way. Let's get Tibby Strat in there. We'll get uh, Zelina Vega in there. We'll get Nova Northern Light in there. And we'll get... Uh, what was Nova Northern Light? Face fighter. So let's get in Andrea Cannons, I guess. Right, we'll do Josh Briggs versus Santos Escobar. And we'll do. Joel Wheeler and Arch. No, I can't do Joel Wheeler because it's he. It's his rest week, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Die for me, brother. Injured. I saw a pre match physio for China. Then she can have a match with Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss can call her out next week. And hopefully that'll get it up to level four. That's the show. Let's put that on there. And you know what? Let's make it a title match. You've got a lot of stamina. Have an extreme rules match. That is the show. Extreme rules. 
Tiffany Stratton goes up to level four. This is fantastic. Bray goes to level two. Josh Briggs and Santos Escobar just in a regular match. Three stars, okay. Damien Priest and Tommaso Ciampa goes to a level four. Total match, China and Alexa, China retains. Goes to level three. And I hope her stamina is not too bad. Okay, Bray and uh, Wade go to level three. Women's table match for the women's championships. Charlotte and Bailey become new champions. Level three. I thought it was already level three. No, it was level two. I'm misreading. NXT really don't have that much money at all, do they? <laughs> 2.0, I mean. My God. Roddy Piper and Dusty Rhodes. Fuck me. God, they even brought in Shawn Michaels. Bloody hell, Heyman. Holy shit, they brought in Asker as well. Well, he's just spent all his money. I suppose he had to, because I bought all his bloody talent, didn't I? Okay. Bar three. Right, so if I give that to China, right, somebody has a new perk. It's Tiffy Strat. Bruiser or Cruiser? I don't have a specialist cruiser do I? That would work well cruiser it is then not that it's going to matter because we've already locked you into what feud you're going into but still okay oh there's somebody else who has a perk as well Nova Northern Lights no holds barred match Okay, she's on zero to five. Okay, I can see why she might be a bit sad. Right. Bray Wyatt has 51 stamina. Wade Barrett has 80 stamina. Let's get them in the main event. And we're going to make it a... Let's make it a last man standing match. Put the title on the line as well. Right, so China is going to have the power card. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pick that up. Beginner's luck. Pretty ruthless. There you go. Right, we're going to have an injury. No, not injury. We have. Oh, I thought that was a ah, healing spell. That's what I was looking for. Healing spell for China. There we go. Right. And what we're going to do is we are going to do the men's tag. And that's going to be for the tiles, is it? Extreme rules, yeah, they've got the stamina. Extreme rules to open up. Then we're going to have the women's tag, which is going to need to be a call out? Question mark. Yeah, that's going to need to be a call out. Hopefully that gets to level four. Right. 
Okay. Uh, Quinn B. And Piper Niven. Um, how is the feud with Ignition and EO Sky still progressing when I don't have EO Sky on my roster? There's a bug going on here. I don't know what it is, but there's a bug going on. I need Alexa to call out China. I'll hopefully get that up to a level four. So I have multiple backup feuds that I can use. Right. Pretty Ruthless, Nova Northern Lights, and Andrea Cannons into a match. Because she didn't want to go up against Tiffany Stratton, which is fine. Do I have any other promises? No. That is basically it. That's the show. Okay, so, totals on the line. MVGs become new tag team champions and it doesn't increase the rivalry. How is that not a thing when they stole the championships in an Extreme Rules match? Okay, Quinn B at least goes up to level 3 with Pipe and Niven. Joel Wheeler in R-Truth in a tables match. Goes level 4, mediocre. It's probably stale, to be honest. Okay, the women's tag goes to level four. Andrea Cannons gets the victory. Okay, women's championship goes to level four. Last man standing. Bray Wyatt and Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett becomes the new champion in a four and a half star match. Okay, so apparently Dakota Kai ruined a match with a DQ and got injured. Good job, NXT. Oh, NXT 2.0. Good job, William Regal. Can't be used the week for a PLE or in week... Well, why give it to me then? It's week 24, so I can't use it before WrestleMania. You're fine. Oh, wait, no, it's the pay-per-view show. Doi. Okay.
Right. Let's... Right, okay. I could buy a new asset or I could do the boost. Let's buy that because I think... I think I lose the assets when going into a new season. I think that is a thing that happens. Right. Do not book your most popular bruiser this week for a contract negotiation that I'm not going to be able to use. Fuck off, Trips. Right. XP. We'll give that to Bray. And I'm going to give the other XP to him as well. Right, we're going to give a pre-match physio to Bray. Because Bray should be the main event. Although, China is the most popular. So, actually, she should be the main event. So, I could put Quinn B in that feud with Piper Niven. Make it a fatal four-way match. And we could make it... TLC match, which is the branded PLE bonus. So that's what I'm going to do. The men's, therefore, should open, and it's going to be a fatal four way match. And we can put in R Truth and Joel Wheeler, who don't actually have a title, so that. Oh, and their speciality is TLC as well. Well, why don't we have two TLC matches then? Two match specialities, two robberies ending. That's bound to be an, uh, a, a, a uh, draggy words. Use them. Right, let's have a no holds barred match for the North American Championship. And I have a power card which I can play for that. I can't use that. We well, we've got to have an extreme rules match because I've got a booster. So why don't we make the men's tag? Whoops, uh, the men's tag match. An extreme rules match. That's what we're going to do. Three legends and MVP. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have the women's tag. Oh, I really. I've just seen B and Niven. I've just realised that Tiffy Stratton and Zelina Vega are a level 4 feud. So I'm actually going to do that instead. Which means, sadly, I am having to bump Piper Niven and Quinn B from the card. And we're going to make this a steel cage match. Actually... I'm going to make that a tornado tag match simply because steel cage matches that don't rely in pinfall and submission um, I think are pretty shite. That's what I think. So, that's what I'm going to do. And then we might as well do charity promos for Santos charity promo for anyone who's okay let's just go by promo skill Quinn B can do one Jake can do one and charity promo for Kaya I guess that is the show. 
booking confirmed. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, just in that jump cut. I did manage to get the last achievement um, as the season ended. So this game is now complete, so I'm super happy about that. Anyway, let's simulate through SmackDown. Let's simulate through Raw's WrestleMania. For some reason, they've got the big boss man in the main event. Okay, sure. And we are going to spectate our opening match, the TLC Fatal 4-Way for the NXT Men's Championship, currently held by Wade Barrett. I can't unsee that this is Eric Bischoff's entrance movements. I can't unsee it. I think it was definitely a good idea to put this match on first. Our truth woke the crowd up. And here comes tonight's sacrificial lamb. And introducing the challenger from Brooklyn, New York. Weighing in at 192 pounds. Joe Wheeler. Here's a fun fact. Tonight's local competitor claims that he's never lost a wrestling match of any kind, including Greco-Roman freestyle arm wrestling and even mud wrestling, so quite a pedigree there for this young competitor. Not bad for some frat pledge poser, but this is the big leagues, kid. I give his chance of success a 0.0. .0.
This man is a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion and a King of the Ring winner. And the Baron Barrage isn't even close to finished. And it's time for tables, ladders, and chairs. Perhaps no match more beloved by the WWE Universe than the TLC match, guys. That's because they're all sadists, Cole. We're talking about the Human Demolition Derby. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh my gosh, what impact! And truth evades that. Bez press raining down right hands. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Uh, elbow drop for added measure. The challenger's looking shaken. Yeah, as Wyatt's already hard at work melding the mind game with physical attacks. He steps foot in the ring again. Might just have the quickness advantage over the champ. That could factor into this in a very big way when push comes to shove. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, with authority! Get him into the corner. He's looking to align that is crucial. Oh my God, the DDT! Spike them. <laughs> Set them up for the flat line. Man, face first. Climb, go for it, climb. He's trying for it now. Gotta act fast. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole. Not a very well calculated one either. Incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Off the ropes. Boom, DDT. The hits adding up a little on the champ. And more action like that might allow Wheeler to get the job done. Truth is getting picked apart right now. Truth has to find a way to respond quickly. And well timed maneuver there.
speak your praise Cause I approach it aggressively Especially when they roll up and test me Yo, so I'm a disciplined, militant mind It's time to welcome a real Roma According to her So in that last match, Bray Wyatt regains his NXT Championship after losing it the previous week to Wade Barrett, who decided to, instead of stop Bray Wyatt, who is pulling off the uh, the rings of the Carabiner, holding up the belts, he instead decided to attack R-Truth, who was trying to stop Bray Wyatt from doing that. Bray Wyatt leaves NXT WrestleMania with the NXT men's championship coming up next is a tornado tag match featuring uh, bailey and charlotte flair against the last kickers becky lynch and uh, josie jane this is going to be a banger Charlotte Flair should never, ever, ever be a face. What a fucking bitch. Gets the referee to hold the rigging ropes open for her. Gets it gets him to fucking take a freaking robe off. What a snobby bitch. I as I said, Charlotte Flair should never be a face. It's the up and coming Jonesy J. from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Jonesy J. 
It's a big-time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. You can see how much every fight means to Josie. There you have the prize up for grabs, the NXT Women's Tag Titles. Big opportunity tonight for two of these women as the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships will be on our grabs in this Tornado Tag Team match. This will be all out anarchy. Bailey and Charlotte Flair. Well, they will be facing some fierce tag team action. With uh oh, Forearm's going to come off the win. Guillotine applied. Oh, man. There's nowhere for her to go. This may be over quickly. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Look at this. Raw myself the same question. I have no idea. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, what a counter. German suplex. Two. Emphatic kick out from the champion. There is some shock in the arena after that kick out. Heartbreaker. She's rummaging around under the ring here. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Big impact! Into the ring now. Oh, God! Uh-oh! New champion! And kicks out before the refs count. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. Mark. Oh, 
Royce who found a kendo stick. This man. Charlotte Flair with a trademark chopping. I don't know what they're looking for here. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. No, the title still hangs in the balance. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. The Queen now going up. Oh! Up high! Stiff elbow will break that up. Ooh. The man sending her up. Jumping suplex! Cover for the championship! The cover! And the tag titles change hands. Becky Lynch and Josie Jane managed to pick up the women's tag team championships in the Tornado Tag Match. They regain the championships at NXT WrestleMania. Next up, a no holds barred match for the NXT North American Championship between Johnny, uh, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, and Damian Priest. has truly embraced his deepest, darkest side, and I couldn't be happier. We've seen Priest and the rest of Judgment Day destroy families, put competitors in the hospital. What, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means. Introducing the challenger from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 249 
This title represents America, Mexico, and Canada. When you land in NXT, few things seem as important as an opportunity for the North American title. Few have held it, but many have battled over it. I expect this match to be nothing short of spectacular. I've been waiting all night for this one. With a series of forearms. Ice in Champa's veins right now. He doesn't give a damn if his opponent gets a breather. It's just more time for him to punish. Oh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Ooh, sharp kick. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. Right to the kidneys from behind. Toss back into the ring. away living to fight another day taking it outside the ring now <laughs> whip back into the ring looking for something anything under the ring shovel in hand carnage in his eyes this is no shoulders down now He thought he had it. Lifting their opponent back to their feet and a thunderous right hand. Elbow drop right on point. Well, that was quick. Well, it is a no holds barred match. One of them was going to get injured. It's a legendary match as well, so it works for me. Jake gets us 3,000 fans. Great talker you are. And now for the Extreme Rules Tag Team Match for the NXT Men's Tag Team Championships. The MVGs versus the Abrusion Heats.
Talk about dominance from Andre the Giant. How about his 15-year undefeated streak in WWE? I think we're in the midst of another streak, Saxton. Look at the size of Andre the Giant. I hope to reinforce the ring tonight. That might not be enough. Wrong motto. If you are cheating, you are trying. And he tries harder than anyone I've ever seen in the ring. Once in a lifetime competitor, the living legend. Some say he's the greatest champion ever. He held the WWE title for over seven and a half years. Not much room for debate with a reign that long. The goal is obtaining those tag team championships. Being on the same page will be vital in this one. A showdown for the NXT Tag Team Championships here in this Championship Extreme Rules back. And into the count. Kicks out at just one. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before Waist lock of five. Boom. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power. A soul. How the hell did Eddie Guerrero get Andre the Giant up for a goddamn power bomb? He fends off the attack. 
Getting set up for something in the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Bruno beats him to the punch. In the corner. Doing lots of damage with an isolated attack on the challenger's leg. Backbreaker. San Martino. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Big time atomic drop. That'll have you walking funny. Down and across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Ooh. in their opponent up. Oh, the Canadian backbreaker applied. I have no idea how he has not Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Oh, that one pin for the championship. And we have new tag team champions. And like the women's tag. The men's tag gets new tag team champions. Abrusion Heat, Bruno Sammartino and Eddie Guerrero become new NXT tag team champions. And finally, a fatal four-way TLC match for China's NXT Women's Championship.
Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We learned very quickly that it's always tippy time in WWE. Selena has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's Crown and reformed the LWO. Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Zelina was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. She is truly a once-in-a-generation competitor. And introducing the champion from Redondo Beach, California, the NXT Women's Champion, the ninth wonder of the world, China! No-nonsense superstar. Yeah, China doesn't mess around. She just messes others up. And maybe she'll mess you up while she's out here, Saxton. There's no denying, China has forged a legacy that stands the test of time. Truly the ninth wonder of the world. Championship action underway here. Only one superstar can come out on top tonight. Only one superstar will be able to raise that title when all is said and done in this draining TLC match. We're sure to see pure visceral aggression with China, Alexa Bliss, Tiffany Stratton, and Zelina Vega. When it comes to the number of great championship TLC matches we've had here in WWE, the limit does not exist. These superstars know they have big shoes to fill with this one. I cannot imagine them doing anything less than stealing the show here. All for the title. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. 
she's getting back into the ring. Setting up the ladder, guys. There it is. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Oh, she counters right back on China. Goes right into the face to halt the attack. Climbs back inside. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a powerball. The title might change hands. The challenger is not in a great place. Well, this has been one vicious TLC match. Those impacts and hits have to catch up with you at some point. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Looking for the sleeper. It's cinched in. She's lined it up perfectly, right where it needs to be. And a menacing look from Tiffany Stratton. She's certainly revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. And now she's climbing up the ladder, hopefully with a plan in mind. Here she goes, but can she get it loose? The champ looking worn out. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, my boy. Oh, my gosh! Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Athleticism by the ninth wonder of the world. Getting the ladder set up for something. China looking for the double a move like that usually signals the end is near. But the final prize is still dangling above the ring. She goes back inside the ropes.
shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. And look at Fripp. He made like that ladder's position perfectly in the center of the ring. Now you just got to climb. Striking while the iron is hot. And the crowd is starting to come to their feet. Oh, who knows what she's going to do to her now. Your guess is as good as mine. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, setting it up is one thing. Climbing it is entirely different. Making the climb here. Maybe looking to end this thing right now. Oh, we go. Looking to steal a win here. Can she do it? Perhaps some wistful thinking going on there, Michael. Looking to snatch a victory here, guys. I think it's going to happen. We've got some action in the air here. Look out the lung. Oh, it's in her breath. Tiffany Stratton trying to steal it. So is Alexa Bliss. It's anyone's title. And Alexa Bliss has stolen it. Under attack from Selena Vega and Tiffany Stratton. But five feet of fury has won the NXT Women's Championship at NXT WrestleMania in, of all things, a TLC match. And it's a right classic it is. Admittedly, the men's tag did outperform it, but no matter. So it says poor finale, but still amazing booking across. Look, five, four and a half, five, five, four and a half. Can't even complain about that. So let's see monetarily. How did we go? SmackDown gains 169,000 fans. Raw gains 232,000. We gained 348,000. NXT gains 166,000. We have a very sizable lead as we go into Season 4. As we go into season four, I guess this means we're going to have to choose who we're going to keep. <sighs> filter by pop. Can I filter by. Okay, Tommaso Champ is not, and Ignition isn't. Well, screw you two then. Can we arrange by popularity? Sort by. Popularity, there we go. Right, I will keep Bray. I will keep. Kaya. And I'm going to keep. Alexa Bliss. And with that, I will see you all in Season 4. Thanks everybody for watching.